Today, we have a flat-out major advantage to examine, a memorable second that is going to send swells through the existences of endless Americans. For a large number of SSI, SSDI, and VA beneficiaries, this choice is completely extraordinary. Envision getting an extra $6,500 in benefits that will straightforwardly affect your monetary prosperity, security, and personal satisfaction. We're stripping back the layers to comprehend this extended advantages bundle back to front. Who qualifies? What are the qualification models? How might these assets be disseminated? We're investigating every possibility. What straightaway? We'll walk you through the execution cycle, so you know when to anticipate those additional assets. We have every one of the vital dates and achievements. With regards to the unpredictable universe of government-backed retirement benefits, there are two significant subjects that frequently bring up issues, benefits for separated from mates and the complicated pathway that non-residents should explore to get to these basic monetary assets. We should dig further into these subjects to give you a more thorough comprehension. Right off the bat, how about we investigate the situation of advantages for separated from life partners? In the event that you've gone through a separation and are interested about whether your previous companion can in any case get government-backed retirement benefits in light of your profit, there are explicit measures to consider. For your ex to be qualified, your marriage probably persevered for 10 years or longer, or they should be unmarried or if nothing else 62 years of age. Be that as it may, there's an essential condition, the advantages your ex-companion can guarantee from their own work record ought to be not as much as what they might actually get in light of your record. Captivating that regardless of whether you've remarried, your previous mate could in any case have a case to these advantages, as long as your past marriage met the 10-year benchmark. Presently, how about we turn to the perplexing subject of non-residents and their admittance to federal retirement aid benefits. The core of the matter lies in the prerequisite of having a government-backed retirement number, SSN. Most non-residents come up short on SSN except if they have gotten work approval in the U.S. from the Division of Country Security, DHS. Nonetheless, there's a hint of something better over the horizon for those without a SSN. This trust appears as a aggregation understanding. In the event that you end up starting from a country that has such a concurrence with the U.S. and you come up short on vital government-backed retirement work credits, you could in any case meet all requirements for customized benefits. Be that as it may. Here's the trick, unraveling this mind-boggling web expects you to contact your neighborhood government-backed retirement organization, SSA, office. They have the skill to evaluate what is happening and decide if you're qualified for these customized benefits. With regards to getting those genuinely necessary federal retirement aid benefits, one of the key prerequisites is meeting the base work measure. This basis, characterized by the Federal Retirement Aid Organization, SSA, depends on acquiring 40 government-backed retirement credits. In the year 2022, the condition means procuring a solitary credit for each $1,510 in covered profit. In any case, there's a trick, the most extreme number of credits you can build yearly is 4, and that implies you really want to procure at least $6,040 to get that greatest credit count. Presently, we should plunge into what these numbers connote. To become qualified for government-backed retirement benefits, you should amass those significant 40 credits. This, in functional terms, means at least 10 years spent in the labor force effectively adding to the federal retirement aid framework. It's basically the SSA's approach to guaranteeing that people have put forth a significant and predictable attempt to partake in the labor force before they can get to these crucial advantages. Yet, consider the possibility that your ongoing boss doesn't offer a 401k retirement plan, which is one more fundamental part of getting your monetary future. That is where the singular retirement record, or IRA, enters the image, while IRAs give another option. They truly do accompany their own arrangement of contemplations. Most remarkably, not at all like 401ks, IRAs don't include business matches, which can essentially affect your retirement investment funds. Moreover, there are stricter commitment limits related with IRAs, with people under 50 permitted to contribute up to $6,000 yearly, an eminently lower cap when contrasted with the $19,500 top-level input limit for 401ks. Regardless of these impediments, IRAs offer their novel benefits. Outstandingly, they give a more extensive exhibit of speculation choices, permitting you to have more command over how your retirement reserves are contributed. This adaptability can be especially engaging assuming you're hoping to fit your speculation procedure to your particular monetary objectives and chance resistance. The sum you get from government-backed retirement is a riddle with many pieces, including your income history, the length of your profession, and when you decide to guarantee your advantages, it resembles gathering a complex monetary jigsaw with each piece assuming a critical part in deciding your monetary security in retirement. Here is a critical figure to keep on your radar, the greatest available pay. In 2022, it's set at $147,000. And the next year, 
it's scheduled to ascend to $160,200. This implies that income over these limits are not exposed to government-managed retirement charges. Understanding this can be significant, particularly in the event that you're in a higher level of pay. Be that as it may, we should talk system. To genuinely supercharge your government-managed retirement benefits, it very well may be shrewd to think about working for something like 35 years and deferring your case until you arrive at the age of 70. This essential move can considerably build your month-to-month -month benefits, giving you a more agreeable retirement path. Moving past government-managed retirement, there's a universe of tax breaks that can influence your monetary prosperity. For example, kid tax reductions, esteemed at up to $2,000 per kid, and youngster and ward care tax breaks, possibly worth up to $3,000, are significant contemplations for guardians. It's critical to note, however, that these advantages have encountered changes because of transitory measures from the American Salvage Act that were not broadened. In this way, on the off chance that you meet all requirements for these credits presently, it's a valuable chance to save a smidgen something else for your retirement savings. Presently, here's an unforeseen curve. At the point when those eagerly awaited government-managed retirement checks begin coming in, you could see that they're not so heavy as you anticipated. Why? Indeed, that is on the grounds that government medical care Part B charges are frequently deducted consequently. These expenses can shift in light of your pay. And, tragically, they will generally increment for seniors consistently. It's an unwanted reality that many face as they enter their retirement years. Nonetheless, there's a silver lining, the cost for many everyday items change. Or COLA which gives intermittent lifts to your government-managed retirement installments. These increments are intended to assist with neutralizing the increasing expenses of living. In any case, we should be sensible, while COLA is a welcome expansion, it could not completely counterbalance those rising costs. Thus, it's wise to plan for government-managed retirement to cover a more modest part of your retirement costs over the long haul. The principal thing to remember is that selecting to guarantee your advantages at 62 may not generally be the most monetarily reasonable move. This is on the grounds that doing so can bring about significant decreases in your regularly scheduled payouts, possibly cutting off as much as 30% of your entitled advantage sum. As illustrated by the government-backed retirement organization, these decreases are not something to be trifled with, particularly when you think about the drawn-out results on your retirement pay. On the other side, there's an all the more monetarily canny system available to you, holding on until you arrive at your full retirement age. This age normally falls around 66 or 67. Contingent upon your introduction to the world year, postponing your case until this point can be a savvy choice, one that could yield more huge monetary compensations over the long haul. In any case, why, you might inquire. The response is direct, the more you delay guaranteeing your government-backed retirement benefits, the higher your regularly scheduled payouts become. As a matter of fact, on the off chance that you have the persistence to hold on until age 70, your advantages could be supercharged to a noteworthy 108% or even 132% of your base month-to-month -month benefit sum. This intends that by basically practicing restriction and deferring your case, you stand to get considerably more cash to help your retirement way of life. Notwithstanding, it's urgent to remember that government-managed retirement alone is commonly intended to cover just around 40% of your pre-retirement pay. Subsequently, depending exclusively on these advantages might leave you with a setback in your retirement pay needs. To overcome this issue and guarantee a monetarily stable retirement, having extra retirement reserve funds in place is fundamental. Much thanks to you for going along with me, your go-to channel for everything boost checks and individual budget tips. What's more, remember to like and buy into our channel.